Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and today our chapter is polymers and you're most welcome to the part 4 of polymers. If you haven't watched my part 1, part 2 and part 3, I humble request all of you please to watch the video, you can learn a lot. Classification based on growth polymerization. Number 2. Condensation also known as step growth polymerization. Okay. Now for this we have first polyamides. First we have is polyamides. Polyamide simply means a combination of carboxylic acid plus amides, amines, es, to give us amides. Okay, and that's what is it. So the reason I told you before what is carboxylic acid, what is amine, what is amides, what is ester and what is alcohol. So when it is coming into play, you know what is it, okay? So when you have a combination of carboxylic acid that is R double bond to OH plus S2 and NS2 happens and you get uh, and you get R double bond to NH, then you know what you're talking about polyamides. Now polyamides primarily has only two examples or two main examples what example point of view. Number one is nylon cis six, which I've already seen, where we had arabic acid and hexabdiamide. Next one, another example very important is called nylon six. Now as for you know, the word six signifies that there's only, only gonna be one monomer, and that monomer we're gonna have six carbon, and you're right. The monomer which you have for nylon six is called C A P R O L A C T A M. This pronounces caprolactam. Okay. Okay, let's structure how it looks like. It's gonna look like N H carbon double bond to C H2 C H2 C H2 C H2 CH2 and that's how it looks like so as you can see clearly and nicely we have one two three four five six carbon with us in front of us and that's how we're getting it okay fine next next what happens here this is structure of caprolactam this is basically the caprolactam okay so from here the bond breaks the bond breaks in the presence of some kind of important thing called water so you never mentioned water, like how we had a high pressure and peroxide for our tetrafluoroethane, and how we had high pressure for vinyl cyanide process. We have H2O water for this. This is very important. Important structure, important uh, polymer, and important name of these things. This is so important. You should always, always mention this, okay, in any exam in the future. Okay, now next, what are you gonna get from this? We're gonna be getting, let's see. You shall be getting now it, when it breaks from here, you just have write down as a linear. So you have like the circular shape where it breaks from here, and now write it as a linear form like this way. So you're gonna get in here NH CH2 hold 5 and carbon double bond O hole N, and this is your nylon 6. Simple as it says. Number two we have is called polyesters. Let's see what is polyester. Like how the combination of carboxylic acid plus amines give you amides. That was polyamide. We had example of uh, nylon cis six and nylon six. Similarly, when you have a combination of again carboxylic acid, okay, but this time it won't be amide. It's going to be alcohol. This combination shall give you esters, okay? And you know what is ester? We will not talk about. It's going to be R, C, O, R, and one more R here. Okay, that is ester. So this, when you have like this kind of formation, where carboxylic acid plus alcohol combine to give you ester, this is an example of, or this is called polyesters. Let's see the first one called Dacron Terylene, a polyester, meaning it has combination of carboxylic acid plus alcohol to give esters. Okay. In the presence of a zinc acetate and antimony trioxide, ask the exam, what are the two catalysts used to form Dacron Terylene from its two monomers? And these are nothing but zinc acetate.
acetate and antimony trioxide okay so when we talk about dacron or terylene first write down this whole one paragraph in your own word make it more short if you want to give introduction about the thing and then you move on to showing how it is in form the structure so now let's see how dacron or terylene is formed as by now you know it has two different monomers number one monomer is called ethane 1,2 diol also known as ethylene glycol so ethylene glycol is this common name and ethane 1,2 diol is this IUPAC name okay so the structure is going to be HO CH2 CH2NOH n times fine then now how are you getting it ethane as per you know means it has two carbons joined together by single bond because it's ethane A and E and diol stand for alcohol that's OH and it is present in first and second position so first position is this one's OH here second is this one's OH here and that's how you're getting this simple structure that was about ethane one from diol or ethane glycol number two what our second monomer here second monomer is called benzene one comma four dime carboxylic acid but this is your IPC name, but for this one, its common name is already popular. It is called terethalic acid. So let me mark down quickly for you which names are popular in this example. Like for this special, this is so important question. I can't tell you how much important it is. And it's so commonly asked like 9, 6, 6, we talked about before already. So here, the first monomer, this name is common. Okay, commonly asked to be used. And for second monomer, this name is common. So they might tell you like, you, you are given two monomers, ethane one diol and terethylic acid, then what you can get and so on. It varies from question to question, okay? Fine. Let's move on now. This structure is gonna be, you know it, the name suggests the benzene ring. First, let's draw a benzene ring like this way. Okay. The first and the fourth position and now you know why did they teach you para ortho and meta one comma four means it is para so let's say this is my first position this is my second third and fourth position to give me here dicarbous acid is going to be what coh because it's forming bond with carbon and not with hydrogen and coh and that is the structure very simple and easy to understand and see okay now with this let's see what happened next again end time to show its end time happening after polymerization and i'm sure you may have understood by now we're going to take out oh and h but now the problem is unlike our 96.6 we only had h in one case and OH in the other case but here we have oh in both now what to take and what not take see let's say i took out oh from here completely Hmm, not good idea you might say, but incorrect. In this case, let's say I took OH from here, then I have to take H from here. And giving me very confusing kind of structure like this, and that's impossible. And you know, in this example, the OH is attached together, so I can't take only H. I have to take OH together out. Meaning, me taking from carboxylic acid only H without OH is taking more energy than taking OH together. And that's where we have to do, which is more better choice for us. So in our case, we are supposed to do it this way. That is, we're going to take OH from carboxylic acid and H from our, from our what? From our alcohol example. So from here, let me show you what happens. Mm -hmm. Erase this up. Okay. Fine. So we had H here. We had bond here. So from here, the OH comes out, from here the H comes out, similarly H goes from here, there might be some OH over here from another compound, another uh, uh, benzene, one of our dicarboxylic acid, we're making OH goes out, to give me now, you know where the answer will be? Hmm, let's see. It's gonna be O, CH2, CH2, O, carbon double bond O, benzene ring, like that way, and carbon double bond O and then what? Hole. Okay, hole. N plus 
NH2O because you're giving water as well. And this is your DECR and Dacron or Tylene. So important, I can't tell you how much important this is. Very, very important for exam point of view. And that's all that I have mentioned. What have I mentioned here in your my pencil? Should I say red color? You have mentioned in pencil in exam, okay? Let's see glyptal. Now, what happens in glyptal? The glyptal is very similar to our uh, should I say dacron or tylene because the first monomer is same. What's the first monomer? You know it, ethane. Ethane. 1 comma 2 diol or ethylene glycol i can mention both of them but you know the commonly used name is ethylene diol and not ethylene glycol now this one that is ho ch2 ch2 oh n times when it's mixing with what this time the second monomer is called thalic acid even this p the p is silent it is pronounced as thalic acid th is thalic acid ph is silent or p sorry this is gonna be pH, pH. So thalic acid, not uh, not phallic acid, it's called thalic acid. And is IAPC name would be called as benzene one comma two dicarboxylic acid. Okay, clear and wonderful. Fine then. So this is gonna be what one comma two means ortho position as I told already. The so structure is gonna be like this way. It's gonna go like this way okay COH and COOH and like previous case I shall bond up by taking OH from here H from here and take our H from here the side and OH from here take it out okay like that way and to give me the product after my process of polymerization I shall be getting my product to be as O CH2 CH2 find O then what carbon double bond O benzene ring like this formed and carbon double bond O then whole N okay plus N H2O and as you can see, even what is given out, and that's for glyptal. Even this is important to some extent, but not as important as dacron, but it is important, okay? And keep in mind everything in textbook is important for exam. Now, let's see if we don't form the height polymer. If we talk about that in detail manner, let's have a look at important must know thing. Okay, we have talked about carboxylic acid, about uh, amine, amides, ester, alcohol, and so on. But do you know we have another functional group called aldehyde? Yes. A L D H Y D E. Aldehyde represented by its CHO. The presence, like how the presence of OH signifies alcohol, similarly, the presence of CH in organic compound signify aldehyde presence. Okay. Now, what you must know here, we have used the term formaldehyde form. The word form under okay, talking about aldehyde for now, so on the word form in aldehyde means one and the word acetate means two. So when I say formaldehyde, I'm talking about HCHO. Okay. This is my formaldehyde. So formaldehyde means HCHO. Another this is my what does it say? Common name. My IAPC name would be methanol methanol like for how alcohol uh, is uh, we have oil for alcohol ending term isn't it similarly aldehyde ending term is al okay al it's not clear for you but again it is al methanol acetate means two so we have it to be as ch3 ch2 this is called as acetate acetate aldehyde that is going to be my common name IBS name is called ether null, NAL null, EL null, EL stand for your aldehyde. Now with this knowledge, let's start about our learning. Warfenol formaldehyde. And if you don't know again, I'm not telling them, phenol is another name for what she said, benzene. Okay. So when I say phenol, I'm talking about benzene ring with OH. So benzene ring with OH is called phenol, okay? So all again, it representing presence of, of alcohol. Now, so we are having in this process, we are having a phenol, 
that is a benzene ring with OH, a phenol. We're combining a phenol plus, plus what? HCHO or should I say CH2O, any way around. This is our formaldehyde. So we're going to be combining these two things and seeing what polymer we get from here. The phenol formaldehyde obtained by condensation reaction of phenol with formaldehyde in the presence of an either an acid or base catalyst. So if we move on to see how do we get phenol formaldehyde polymer from these two different monomers, first let's talk about the process we're going to be following for this. Number one, we react them both condensation reaction in the presence of either an acid or a base catalyst. Number two, the reaction starts with the initial formation of of ortho and para hydroxymethylphenol derivatives, which further reacts with phenol to form compounds having rings joined to each other through CH2 group. The initial product formed is called linear product called Novolic. So NOVOLAC is very important to keep in mind. Novolic is important to keep in mind. And next we have is Novolic and heating with formaldehyde undergoes cross linking to form an infusible solid mass called bakelit. Do you remember we saw bakelit somewhere around? Yes, in the example of thermosetting polymers. So now you're going to see how do we get the structure of bakelit, novelic, and all of those things combined to give us phenolformaldehyde polymers. So let's get started. So let's see. We have our phenol here, OH, and we are adding to it CH2O. Again, I'm going to share to you that whatever I'm writing in blue, uh, color pen is what I'm going to write an exam with your pen and what I should write down now in my red color pen is what I should write down in the exam with the pencil okay so as for you know they're going to be etched over here okay so uh, now my main reason of writing formaldehyde as this way and not this way is to signify something very very important I think I'm going to show you here that is this edge from here comes this way and this C bonds over here. One more time I tell you. As per you know, we're going to have edge over here. This is how it normally works. We have edge bond here. So this edge is going to join to O here and this will join here. Okay. Now it's going to join in what? We're going to join the presence of something. We have learned it. That is H plus or OH minus. So the main reason for you to read the step first and then see how it's been done is you will know exactly what is done. Okay, and that's what you have got. Very simple and wonderful. Now, in this present, in the presence of acid or a base, this is what happens. This is basically what happens. Okay. Now, what are we gonna get from here? We might either get uh, OH, CH2 OH. Understood very very well. Isn't it? Because H is going here, C going here, so getting a CH2OH. This is the most common, the most common what we might get. But we might also get, if, if they are using more than one hydrogen from the uh, phenol to attach, we may also get CH2OH in ortho 1 and 2 or also in para 1 and 4. Or we may also get in all the three positions available to us, that is OH here. So CH2OH. Mm, CH2OH and again CH2OH and keep in mind the bond is forming with the carbon and not with the H. Okay, it's very important to show it clearly because I've seen even when I was doing chemistry, I have like I have made the same mistake. If you're trying to show, let's say CH2 carbon level bond CH and then down down CN, they sometime do it like this. You know how they do it? They do it like CH2 double bond CH down. CN, but no, this is incorrect. This is wrong. It's showing the bonding somewhere between or somewhere with at N. No, it should be clearly shown with what is bonding with carbon. Yes, with carbon. Show clearly, and that is very very important. Okay, to learn and to keep in mind. So we have seen so far what is being formed here. Okay, now next what? So first thing in exam for this kind of formation, if they are told to form phenol formaldehyde, this is going to be a number one answer, number one step. Write phenol, write down formaldehyde, show this write down the process acid or base, and then show till here. This is number one step. Okay. Next, what to do? Number two step. Number two step is you have to show the formation of nebulic. 
N O V O Navo Lek. Navo Lek. Okay. How are you going to show that? Hmm. Let me teach you first and then I'm going to show you how it's been done. So, now we have a structure like this. Am I right? Yes. Let's say I have one more structure like this with me. One more structure formed from the combination of general formal height. Like this way, for example. Okay. I have two structures now. And you know, H is possible to be here, H is possible to here. So let's say this combine and something combines with here and with here to give me now what? It's going to give me a structure like this. Okay. And continue to either side to choose continuing. And this is your navel leg. That's it. This is your navel leg. And let me show you clearly how this is done so you know exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. Increase the side of my rubber. So this is what is happening, okay? And so in exam, no need to show what I have shown you. I have shown you only for me to understand what's happening. But in exam, they ask the structure for Nabalik. You just have to show one line and that is, you see here. You have to show like this way. OH, CH2. If you feel you still have doubt about this, don't you worry, you can inform me in my comments down below. I'll surely help you out or you can email me the doubts about what you have. It continues, okay, it continues on either side. This is the number two step. So number one step, you have to show this, okay, till here. Number two step, you have to show Nebulic. And number three step, my favorite, that is showing the bakelet. Now, bakelet is nothing but when you have a nebulic and when you have one more nebulic down here, like you have one and you have one more down, these two joining is basically your bakelet or you call as a bakelet, okay? Let's see how it's been done. Let me erase this up for now. Think space. So, third one. So, third one is going to be our B A K E L I T. I'll directly show you how it's been done and then I'll tell you what is basically happening. So, so far, we is what you have seen. This is what you have seen, okay? Isn't it? This is basically your navel leg if you kind of remember what I've done just now. Continue either side like this. This kind of a curve shows is continuing. So, and you can do that, it's allowed. It's been shown in the textbook as well. Now, when you join one more of it down. Like this way. This is your bakelet. Yes, this is your bakelet. Let me first write down what the bakelet should look like. Then I shall tell you exactly. Uh, should I say exactly how are you getting it, or if you have any doubts about it? Okay. This is your bakelet. Now, how I have get how I'm getting it. Let's see that one. Okay, let's see how we're getting it. So, we have got this much. Isn't we have got this much by talking about Nebulic. And I've understood exactly how we're getting it by simply adding the same thing up to give this structure. Now, when I write this same structure, Okay, in the reverse manner and keeping in mind that how we have learned here that there are three possible different cases over here. This is the most common case. This is the second common. This is the third common. Let's say I'm talking about the second most common case, which means I'm also going to have here down CH2. CH2 what? CH2OH. 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 So this is showing the same application of nebulic but of second case where you have CHOH in the uh, ortho and para both the position. Now the same thing if I have in the reverse manner as well. That is I have it this way. OH My main objective is that you should understand exactly how it's working even though you don't have to show all of this in exam. But if you know how it's it been done once, you'll remember it forever, you know, so you don't have to worry about it at all. 
Huh, there you go it continues on either side so i have done the same thing in reverse manner so this is like my second case and this is my first case which i have drawn okay so let me show you again this is my second case where i have the ch to oh in the ortho and para position and this is what i have drawn uh, here what i have shown in this case this top part of it and this first case that is ch to oh only this is the most common case i have shown it over here clear down case now as you know edge is possible to have here we can have edge here and now it's very simple we know edge can is possible to have there oh and edge combines oh and edge combines oh and edge combines so let me simply delete this off combine means that they are connecting and they are going isn't it yeah now you tell me what i have i have distant combined and isn't this the same thing which you have got here yes and that's how we get bakelet and that's it for example interview don't worry about how it's been done we simply have to first show the first step how acid or base combined with phenol and formaldehyde in the presence of that thing you're getting this, uh, three different possibilities most common second common and third common and third and then you can never look at this this one and last you get the bakelet and that was about formal or should i say phenol formaldehyde design design with c again one more thing to talk about the word R E S A resign means it's a nice thing polymer actually. Same thing. It so next we have is Milaman formaldehyde polymer. Now I talk about the before case of phenol formaldehyde uh, resign on polymer. That is common, but I haven't seen that much coming in this few question papers, but this is so important. I feel because that is kind of complex and it has a lot of steps. They don't ask for one marks or two marks, but Milaman formaldehyde is simple, it's different, it's unique, and it's very commonly asked. I have seen in board exam paper, they ask to write down the structures of number one, nylon 6, 6 and they'll give it number two as, let's say, Dacron or Tylene. So you must know both the names, they'll just give one of the name. And third as, your third option would be Milamine formaldehyde resign or polymer. And it's going to be for one marks each. So if you know how to draw all three structures, including the name, the monomer, and how it's been done, then you can get full three marks. Okay, that was understood. Now let's see how it's been done. You know what is formaldehyde? That is CH2O or SCHO. But what is melamine? Let's see melamine monomer structure. Uh, N. I'm going to show you how to draw it as well. First draw N, then draw like this kind of structure. N, N, then down branch again, putting one arrow here, putting one arrow here, putting one arrow here. This is NH2, NH2, and NH2, okay, or NH2, fine. You clearly see how neatly I have shown that bonding is with H. Again, this is too far, actually. It should be like this way, exactly under N, uh, under, or above N. So now, now that that's it, you have one more thing to keep in mind, like how you have a ben in benzene, how you put like this thing, you have to put the same thing here as well, you have to put here one, two and three. So you put one, you put one gap here, put one more time, put a gap and then one more time. So what you can see in front of me is the structure of melamine. This melamine, and you're going to do a plus, plus what? CH2O, this is my formaldehyde. The same thing happens as you have seen already in our phenol formaldehyde resigned. So what happens here again is that from here one H. See, this represents one because it's going to be like N H S. So I won't be doing it like this way. I'll be thinking this is to represent my one of the H and simply use that to connect the dot. Okay. So I have this one H going here, the carbon or the C basically. I was a carbon, the um, C. Yeah, it goes there. And now you're going to be getting, after this, hope is clear so far, melamine structure is this one. And you know now how to do, draw it. Formaldehyde this one, just put the arrow. And now you're going to be getting, after polymerization, but before than that, you have an intermediate state. Intermediate state is what happens between, before you, for, for, before you get a polymer from monomer, something happens in the between. That is the intermediate state, okay? So the middle state is going to be like this. So it's going to be N. Same thing. N, N. 
n oops not that one arrow down here this would be nh ch2 oh nh2 and h2 n okay wonderful the same way to bond it up now you know this is called as you can put it so we normally put represent the intermediate state in a, a square bracket okay this is written as intermediate resign that is polymer okay now from here to show with pencil what happens from here oh goes from here h goes h goes like that way to give me next what to give me now after polymerization to give me n okay n n n h goes down n h c s2 n h whole and remember this part as well and this is your miller mine formaldehyde okay fine then that's what we have got so far so as you can see for this one you first have to dried miller mine formaldehyde design as uh, formaldehyde sorry and you get intermediate state like this way and you get the answer next we have is copolymerization we have seen what a copolymer this is the process of that formation of copolymers so it's important it's commonly asked definition of exam point of view and let's see what is it the copolymerization is the polymerization reaction which a mixture of more than one monomeric species is allowed to polymerize and form a copolymer okay this can be not made by chain growth because you have seen copolymer as a type of addition or addition polymerization it's also known as growth or chain growth polymerization but also by step group polymerization so this means that the copolymer which is a type of addition polymerization can come under both addition and condensation wonderful example we have buna s and buna n so with this learners we have come to end of our part 4 of polymers part 5 is my last video for polymers so please do watch it we can learn about what are rubbers what are natural rubber synthetic rubber and the different structure of it like isoprene as well as neoprene and so on and also the most important biodegradable polymers and with this i'm going to give you a special bonus of showing you the uses the uses of polymers this is just like really asked question but sometimes they do ask one more question because i've given a small table at the end of your book by showing you the uses of polymers a few polymers but i'm going to give you the uses of not one not two but of 20 I suppose 2019 polymers of all the polymers in your book I'm gonna show all of those uses important one to the point one so if it comes to the exam you can get full marks with this see you in part 5 and if you haven't watched my part 1 part 2 or part 3 my humble request please to watch it and please to subscribe to my channel because I like to work hard for you all I'm really working hard with amazing content for all of you and all that you can do for me is subscribe to my channel and thank you so much